Hello guys and girls and welcome back to Dark Souls, the first one. Uh, it's Apple White like always and man have I not played Dark Souls in forever. Uh, not only have I not played Dark Souls 1, I have not, I mean, not only have I not played Dark Souls 2 in a while, I have not played Dark Souls 1 in probably like over a few days. Year, not years. What am I talking about? I'm like totally confused. Anyways, uh, I'm just kind of getting used to the move sets and stuff, cause it definitely moves better. Like I just tried jumping with uh, L3, and I was like, oh wait, you don't jump like that in this game. Anyways, uh, last time I believe I haven't recorded this forever, but I believe last time we killed the like the decaying dragon person. And, uh, because of that, we just have, uh, the main boss to kill now. Okay, well, so far so good. This, the combat still feels really strange to me. It seems slower, and I'm not sure if it's because of the frame rate, or because, you know, it actually is slower. But, yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm moving a lot slower. But, you know, that's... That's, uh, not good or bad, really. It's just, you know, whatever. Okay, I already got the item up there. Wow, I have not played in forever. Alright. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, did I just fall down that ladder? Alright. So, actually, we do not want to go this way. Uh, what we need to do is we actually need to, uh, open the door to go to, or... We need to open the door to go fight the, the boss in the area. So, um... That's what we're doing. God damn, I took a lot of damage from that poke to the butt. Um, how much does my S's heal? Okay, I heal like it heals all the way. All right, it's locked. La 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 locked. Um, God damn. Um, give me a second. I know what to do. I know what to do, and I think I have to go this way. I'm looking. F uh, am I looking for a key? No, I'm not even looking for a key. I'm looking for the switch. Yeah, this is the way I want to go. Um, there you go. Okay. Um, there's a switch that opens the gate to go fight the boss in the area. Now these things, these things are the worst and the worst enemies in the whole game. Very dangerous. Very scary. Well, scary in the sense that they one could possibly kill you. So, uh, you know. Alrighty. So yeah. Uh, welcome back to Dark Souls. Uh, I'm gonna have part 17 and 18 uh, go up this week along with this one. But 17 and 18 were recorded before I even started my Dark Souls 2 series, and because of my Dark Souls 2 series, I just never got to really uh, upload him. Oh god. Now I have two of them. Oh god. Okay. It's fine. Alright, I was expecting the little like twirl around like attack that you have in Dark Souls 2. But that wasn't the case. But yeah, like uh, I haven't... Pl Those two were recorded before Dark Souls 2. And this is me after Dark Souls 2. So, uh, you know, I'll probably be comparing the two throughout the series now and uh, you know tell you what I like more about each one I guess um, anyways grab this we have a soul of a brave warrior and this is the switch I was telling you about now we're gonna go into like a little cutscene the statue starts moving to the left it went to the left right I believe so and uh, when it looks at the door the door opens and that's the door that leads us to the area's boss. Um, so yeah. Good. Now if you go back here, this is actually an illusionary wall. Like so. And there's a few items we could pick pick out here, or pick up here, not pick out. Um, I'm not sh exactly sure if any of them are actually useful or not, but I know you could definitely grab a few items down here. I'm just scared because a lot of these are like corners and there's bone wheels like that one right there. Is there one over here? No. Okay, so there's just one. Just move out the way and kill that bitch. 
go. There you go. What level am I, anyways? These menus look so weird to me. And it, it feels weird being only level 35 because of the fact that, like, um. Because of the fact of, like, Dark Souls, on my first playthrough, like, when I was done, I was probably, like, 100 and, like, 30, 100, maybe closer to 50, actually. So it's, like, a big, big difference. Um, there's a bone wheel right here. It's gonna try doing something like that. Ooh, you saw how much damage I took just from getting those... You know, just from getting hit from his animation. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, one big difference, which I'm noticing like right off the bat, is when I use is when I use my Estus. Basically, my HP heals instantaneously. In Dark Souls Two, it kind of takes a while for your HP to start filling up, and you know, that's that's that makes a big difference. It's like maybe like the little like delay before your HP starts healing, and it doesn't even heal as fast as this one. This one's almost instantaneously, like, you drink it, you wait, like, maybe, like, a quarter of a second, and then, uh, and then your HP is, like, basically, all the HP that you're gonna get from your heal, you, you get, like, almost instantly. And sorry if I'm moving the camera around a lot, I hope you guys don't get, like, motion sickness or something of the sort, but, you know, this is tight corridors, um, I, obviously, I'm out of practice, uh, and, you know, whatever. So, uh, I think with that we could access the next area. Oh, we got a bone wheel shield. Bone wheel shield. It sounded weird coming out of my mouth the first time. Also, you can't run up, um, ladders. Which, you know, it doesn't play a big part, but it plays some part in, uh, the gameplay. Okay, right here I'm gonna get jumped. Whoa, someone shot an arrow at me. Alright, so I still remember that these fire torch guys do a bunch of damage to you. What the hell is shooting arrows at me? This asshole up here, look at him. Yeah, my HP just, my HP bar just fills right up. Um... But fair enough, because um, in Dark Souls 2, um, I know, like, um, like, I kind of didn't like the whole life gem uh, system, because you're able to buy them, infin like, infinitely, uh, you know, from, uh, what's her name? Uh... I want to say like Melinda or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you. Oh, the kick! The kick is not a shield bash anymore. It's the kick. Oh my god, how I missed the kick. Um, but yeah, you can't buy. You could. You could buy them like an infinite amount, and you know, as long as you have souls, as long as you, you know, you basically have infinite healing, which I do not approve of. I mean, I know Dark Souls. Uh, Dark Souls has, you know, like the Elizabeth Mushroom, uh, what's the other one? It's like, uh, Divine Blessing, but those are really, really limited. You cannot buy them indefinitely, you cannot, you know, um, whoa, what the hell are you just like? Okay, so up here, we're actually gonna have to fight a couple of enemies that I hate. Which are these freaking crows? Oh my god, these things are the most terrifying, most terrifying pieces of crap in the whole world. Take my fire to your balls. Take that. I hope some of you fall in that hole. Like, I'm just hoping you guys fall in that hole. No. Bad. No. No. Okay. Some of them fell. That's a good thing. <gasps> no! Uh, Alright, well... At least I didn't die right off the bat. I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. I'm 
equally as disappointed in myself than you are of me. So, uh... So, yeah. Okay, let's just uh, continue. Another thing is, you know, um... I don't think it made that big of a difference, but every time you die after you lose your humanity or, you know, you become hollow, uh, your HP drops by, like, 10%, and it could go all the way down to, like, it's when you only have, like, 50 of your maximum HP. In this game, not it's not like that, and, uh... It doesn't bother me at all. It really doesn't. Claymore only plus 3. Um, it's just whatever, like... I don't think it was like game changing or anything like that. Um, for me, I never really lost all my human effigy. Why did you roll forward? Now I'm toxic. Oh, I have some blooming moss, purple moss clumps. Alright. So my bloodstains should be there. I swear I'm having like movement problems. No, no, bad bird, bad, bad. I feel like my rolling is weird. Like it doesn't, it doesn't exactly roll where I want it to. But it just might be me. Um, okay, that's one bird dead. Thank the load. Uh, I'm gonna S this up because I'm pretty sure I could maybe get one shotted by some of. Those their attacks and I really want to avoid that. Oh no, not my shield. Alright, burn them. Burn them some more. Alright. Oh, don't land on my head. Don't land on my head. Ow. Alright, no, don't land on my head. If it lands on my head, it's a one-hit kill, most likely. Probably. Alright, so... We took care of them. We got Mask of Velka and the whole set. Um, Mask of Velka is... I think the armor set that... What's his name in this game? I know it's like Cromwell and Dark Souls 2. Uh, I don't know, I can't think of it. But it's the guy that pardons your sins at the bell tower. And, uh, yeah, that's his set. And, should we take a look at it? Why not? Uh, where is it? Mask of Velka. A mask worn by a partner serving Velka, the goddess of sin. Velka is the goddess of sin, and this is worn by its partners. The partners listen to the confessions of sinners, urging reflection and salvation. Their masks symbolize separation from worldly desires. It's pretty interesting. Uh, the partner's attire is uniformly black in color and said to imbue, be imbued with Valka's mystical power, which provides resistance against all manners of magic. Pretty cool also. So, what did you drop? So near a reprisal. Now, right here, you can actually break this door. And I think this is Velka's Rapier, if I'm not mistaken. Velka's Rapier. Damn, I still have it. Uh, Velka's Rapier is obviously a rapier. And it says, uh, a symbolic, powerful thrusting sword used by partner serving Velka, goddess of sin. It is more, or is no mere symbol to be sure. The partner's is in the human swordsman. Wait, what? Uh, it is no mere symbol to be sure. The partner is an inhuman swordsman and wields this enchanted blade with special sword techniques. Whatever that means. Uh, so we'll just continue on. Hello. Hello, peeps. Whoa, you're shooting fire at me. Like, in Dark Souls 2, you're able to, like, hit a lot, and then, like, just, like, uh, like, roll back so you don't get hit. And, like, I feel like it's not as, uh, crisp in this game. Like I said, I think it's just the frame rate. Like, I'm used to 60, uh... Phew! <laughs> oh, bless, bless me. Um, 
sorry about that, guys. But yeah, um, I, I think I'm used to the 60 frames per second as opposed to um, here where it's like... I have it set at 42. Dark Ember. Now, Dark Ember is a special Ember that you give... Um, I think it's Andre, the blacksmith, so the one in Undead Parish, I believe it's called. Um, and that allows you to make... What kind of swords? Uh, my HP is dropping really slow, by the way. Uh, where would it be? It would be in key items, probably. Dark Ember. Ember used for... Uh, Ember required for... Or required for weapon... Uh, uh, uh. The church uh, long hid the forbidden black ember, and no living blacksmith knows of it. Occult weapons are used to hunt the gods and are effective against their followers and kin. So yes, uh, the dark ember is used to make occult weapons. Occult weapons are used to kill gods, uh, and it was hidden away by the gods because they don't want to be killed. Simple as that. So now that... Um, no, not this way. Alright, heal up. We're gonna head back to the bonfire and then we're promptly gonna go and kill the boss in the area. And after the boss, that should be an episode, more or less. Um, excuse me for my sloppy play, if I have played sloppily. But, you know, it's been a while. And I'm sure you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Also, we can level up at bonfires! How awesome is that? Now, I don't need to raise... Uh, any of my strength or dex because uh, lightning weapons don't scale with anything so that's pointless uh, I think I'm gonna raise my vitality I think I'll raise it up to 25 which would put me at level 40 which I think is a good level to stay at it could allow me to do some PvP if I want to I probably won't record any Dark Souls PvP if I do record any PvP it will probably be in Dark Souls 2 because I think Dark Souls 2, uh, as, as good as it was, you know, um, I think PvP in Dark Souls 2 is way better than in Dark Souls 1, but PvE, so player versus enemies, is way stronger in Dark Souls. Because you're able to repost easier, uh, you're able to backstab simpler, uh, and in Dark Souls 2... Backstabbing, reposting, criticaling, or whatever you want to call it, it, it became harder, and for a good reason. Because of the, because of the fact that it became harder, uh, PV, PVP got better, but PVE suffered. So, the exact changes that helped uh, PVP uh, was the detriment to PVE, in my opinion. Oh, where the hell did you come from? All right. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. Anyways. Uh, I should stop picking those up, on, in all honesty. Now, you can't uh, repose or... Um... Whoa. Uh, you can't repose and you can't backstab these as far as I remember. Also, my rolling is spot on using those invisibility frames. Uh, Alright, he's probably gonna S this. There you go. That's what you get for trying to S this in front of me, bud! I, bu I believe this knight always drops a, li a, large, a large Titanite. knight, so if you want to farm him, go ahead. I think it's a waste. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, through here we have the fog wall. I'm gonna S this up right quick, and let's traverse it. Hello, Priscilla. Ah, uh, she's actually not hostile. You could talk to her. Look at her, she's beautiful. Look at that white hair, and she's wearing like some type of fur, and she has a tail. Note that she has a tail. She does have a tail. Um. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. 
So basically she's saying like if you just want to leave, all you have to do is fall past that plank. Thou must return it whence thou came. This land is peaceful, its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. I beg of thee, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. So she's urging me to go home. Thou must return. All right, so uh, the way to fight her is just to hit her. You, you hit her and it initiates the fight. I expected as much from thee. Why dost thee hurry toward thine death? Whoa, she hits me right off the bat. Uh, her weapon does a lot of bleed damage. Uh, the way you fight her, you can see that she's invisible. But if you look at the snow, you can see footprints. So she's like around, maybe like there. No, maybe there. Got her. And if you hit her, she uh, reappears. Now you can cut off her tail, which I'm gonna try to do. Uh, no promises. That scythe is just nasty, man. Uh, nope. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. I think I've done too much damage to her already to cut off the tail. Um, hopefully not, though. I really want the tail. So I can show it off to you guys. And yeah, so pretty easy. Um... One more hit and she shall die. I'm gonna try getting that last hit off on her tail. So that maybe I have a chance to cut it off. No, don't hit her. Hit the tail! Hit the tail! Nope. So we got the soul of Priscilla and some humanity. Uh, let's take a look at her soul. Where? Where's their soul? Would it be in here? No. Be here? Soul of Priscilla. Uh, soul of Priscilla is a crossbreed. She's a crossbreed, which means she's more than one species. I'll let you guys speculate on that. Uh, trapped inside the painted world of Arimus? Ar Arimus, I guess. Uh, special beings have special souls. Uh, use the soul of the crossbreed bastard child. Uh, and... Uh, antithesis to all life to acquire a huge amount of souls or create a unique weapon. So she's a crossbreed bastard child, which means she does not actually have. Or she... what does that mean? I'm not entirely sure. Whatever. Uh, you want to walk off here, and it goes into a cutscene, and it's like she told me to fall off here. Do I trust her? Well, shit. Here it goes. And then you just kind of jump. I like the little don't dun. It's amazing. So with that, uh, you're you're able to exit. Uh, hello, hello guys. I'm just gonna head this way. Don't don't pay me any mind. Don't 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 pay attention. I'm just. On my way out, don't don't follow me. Don't. Oh god, I thought that was gonna hit me. I was like, oh no. Um, so I'm gonna make it to the bonfire somewhere out here, and ooh, that that knife almost hit me. Um, but yeah, I can already tell that Dark Souls One feels different. The combat feels different than Dark Souls Two, which isn't a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's just different. It's I like both of them. You know, I, I fell in love with Dark Souls first, so if anything, I would think I would uh, fall more toward Dark Souls 1. No, I think Dark Souls 2 combat's probably better. Uh, like, the feel of it, I mean. Um, but yeah, so uh, on my way to the bonfire, if you don't want to hear spoilers about the lore, cover your ears and end the episode right here. For those of you interested, uh, here it goes. Uh, crossbreed Priscilla is a crossbreed, half a species, half a species has to be human, and the other one, she has a tail and she's white. Now, uh, because of the geographical, uh, placement of the painting, uh, it's right near Seif's, uh, 
what is it called? What's uh, bu, bu, bu. what's that place called with all the books? I don't know. See, is right here. If you go down there and go up the stairs, and you end up up there, right up there. That's where Seif is. Seif the scaleless. He's the, the white dragon that betrayed his brethren because he was mad, or he was. He wasn't. Uh, he was upset that he didn't have eternal life because eternal life was uh, given to dragons by its scales, and Seif is scale scaleless, which is why he's called Seif the Scaleless. Now, uh, Seif is a white dragon. Dragons have tails. Dragons are the only enemies in the game, I believe, in this game. Uh, where when you cut off their tails, they give you weapons. So that's another good uh, fact. And well, Priscilla is predominantly white, just like Seif, and you know that Seif is a mad scientist who experiments. So uh, yeah, I believe C or Priscilla is either a creation or offspring of Seif in some way or capacity. So there's my little bit. Uh, and she was an abomination, like. Uh, I know it's kind of harsh to say that about a person, but, you know, uh, where's, it's probably in the key items, uh, I'm looking for the peculiar doll, a uh, strange doll in a strange dress, there is, or there is once an abomination who had no place in this world, she clutched onto this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. So uh, you know, an abomination, why an abomination, probably because she was, you know, scientifically ritually created or something i don't know you can speculate on that anyways uh if you like the video make sure to leave a like and or favorite it next time we'll probably i want to do the artorias dlc before i do like the four great souls and stuff like that but we'll see um yeah we'll see uh and yeah if you like the video make sure to leave a like and or favorite it leave me some comments down below subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my dark souls playthrough and until next time boys and girls thank you so very much for watching i'll see you on the next one later and johnny